Ted. Well, Benjamin has been in great form, had a, an excellent run last weekend, 48. 61 and uh, that wonderful silky style down the back straight also going well is Dos Santos is going to be the to these two the headband of uh, Ryan Benjamin has got a bit of work to do Alison Dos Santos the youngster the third fast in history is laying down the goal and these two not surprisingly are well out in front Hyde playing catcher Capella was gone and now it's between these two with two more barriers to come Benjamin is just ahead can he keep his form looking better is uh, Dos Santos last barrier now it's lights out now Dos Santos has never beaten Benjamin until tonight 47-27 for 24, given the conditions, that is a brilliant time, new meeting record just. It's now about how far he can push himself, and he's gone, he's gone, now has he pushed himself too hard? That is a shock, Varholm clutching the hamstring, the right hamstring, barely two barriers into the race and meanwhile the race unfolds and now an opportunity opens up for the likes of Rossa and Capello and Rossa has got the field ahead of him, he would have seen that earlier in the race and Rossa we mentioned he's got a very strong finish, Hyde pushing him hard, Capello is gone, Maggie trying to come back at Rossa, now where is this? Lightning finish we mentioned earlier on, just the final barrier to go and Rossa has the field at his mercy here, getting over the line in 48-25, goodness me, well, he's beaten the meeting record held by Felix Sanchez, the great Felix Sanchez, Rossa takes the win, but the story against all the odds, Carsten Vajo not finishing the race and sadly in the very first outing of 2022 is left clutching his right hamstring. Held a long time. He got away cleanly and rather a bit of a stumble there from Grimsey Hall in lane six just uh, doesn't quite get up and running as quickly as CJ Allen inside. It was Dos Santos setting the pace as expected in lane seven. He's gone out pretty quickly. He's got great flat speed at the moment, the Brazilian. And he's got a beautiful hurdling technique and he finishes pretty strongly as well. The others are all vying for second, third and fourth behind them with Rossa moving up on Allen and Hall. But it's Dos Santos at the moment with a big lead. He's probably going to have a four or five metre lead when he comes into the home straight. Just doesn't want to make any more mistakes here. He'll be giving an eye on the clock. He's just going to have a little breeze against him in the home straight here. But Dos Santos well clear. Rossa just uh, not coming off that final hurt as well as he would have liked. Dos Santos wins 47-20. Looked as though Quincy Hall finished quickly, just gathering the second spot there. 23. Taken down to, or taken up to a little bit. Now, he's going to be pretty pleased. I think in these conditions, he's showing that low 47 seconds for him. He has run under 47 of course, Tim, but he's so dominant without the other big names here. He's just way too good for the rest here. Well, he is Steve, yes, but very, very strong down the home straight, wasn't he? He ran, set out hard, hit it, set out his stall hard. I think they're all learning this, frankly, from Carsten Varholm. You have to attack this race from the gun, and he does this so well. No Varholm here today, but frankly, this man was a class apart. Coming down the home straight, very, very strong. I thought for a while Rosser in lane four was going to challenge him, but it didn't really amount to much because off the final barrier, uh, Dos Santos here was quite superb. That is the fastest time in the world this year, 47.20. If it's confirmed, very, very strong indeed. Yeah, as I said, Tim, it was 47.23, which does still shave one hundredth of a second of the time he set Doha. So he's still the world leader. There's the confirmation. Set a personal best for the uh, two Americans and Beckstrom as well. Maggie with a personal, sorry, received best. Good performances from Russell Paul. Get away first time, Beckstrom starts pretty quickly and just uh, trying to take off meter out of the Estonian just outside him with Dos Santos with the lead into the second flight down the back straight. Dos Santos with that tall, elegant style of his, a tall figure managing to just almost step over the herd. But Maggie's starting to get into his running nicely as well. Beckstrom trying to stay with him and Compano trying to come into it as well. But Dos Santos just with about a meter lead around the top bend. 
But he's just going to come under some pressure from the Estonian here, who's just closing down on him. Not by much, though. But De Santos now takes that one nicely as the change down happened. And De Santo into the home straight with a good two meter advantage. And Maggie just starting to struggle a little bit as others trying to chase him down. But watch De Santos go, striding away off that last barrier. It's going to be pretty quick. 47 27. Couldn't even get the words out there. That was almost a personal best, just four hundredths of his best. And that is a brilliant run from him again. You, you're, it's interesting, isn't it? When you see athletes like Maggie go, OK, I've now come into your zone. I'm going to go with you, try and attack you, try and go with you. And all it does is push Dos Santos under yet another big performance like that. And Maggie, if anything, suffered in the last 100 metres because he tried to latch onto him, didn't he? I think you're exactly right there, Stephen. That's fabulous from Dos Santos. Let's not forget, he's a 46-7 guy, so he's a, a second outside his best there, but he's won that very comfortably, the almost half a second outside his best, but he's won that very comfortably indeed. Didn't have to worry about anybody else. Ran his own race, sort of tunnel vision, you know, with blinkers on, whereas Maggie, I, I rather think that after his wonderful run in Turku on Tuesday, and that might be in his legs a little bit, by the way, I rather think that Maggie, the Estonian, the six inside him, was watching him, was chasing him for the first 300, took the ninth hurdle pretty badly, he's Sort of stuttered after that and then he didn't look great on the 10th hurdle and he was fading and he'll be frustrated with that run 48-5 after that uh, personal best just two days ago which was a lot quicker Sit. tall figure of dos santos gets out of the blocks pretty well he's chasing down Beckstrom outside him and he just comes off that first hurdle so quickly. Look how fast he goes past Beckstrom down the back straight. He is flying here. Now, he is definitely committed. McMaster's trying to get going as well, but he's a long, long way behind the Brazilian. He's got those legs moving, taking these hurdles brilliantly in his stride. Dos Santos clear on his own. Coming round into the home straight. Surely he's attacked this so hard. Has he got anything left? Can he hang on to this? by just a few hundredths of a second has taken the time his first time he's running under 47 seconds here in the diamond league dos santos i would have loved somebody to tell me what he ran his first 200 meters in because down that back straight he was flying 46 8 0 it's now been rounded down to that's just outside his all-time personal best by a few hundreds. Well, Tim, I, I, I posed the question at the beginning, almost as though people would say, well, of course Benjamin's going to win, and Volholm could come back. Why do you think Dos Santos is going to win? Surely now, that was what we call the shows he can. Yeah, I mean, it's a class apart. He's doing now to these fields what Carsten Volholm was doing a year ago. I mean, that is a gulf. Look at Curran McMaster in the yellow. He's Commonwealth champion McMaster. He's a 4708 guy, but he's 10 meters down. Brilliant running from CJ Allen in lane three to come through for that second place. First time. Keep an eye on who rises first. Does look like CJ Allen of the United States has got a fast start out there in lane seven. The tall figure of Alison de Santos from Brazil surely is going to eat up that stagger as they work their way down the back straight. Alison de Santos has really attacked the first 200 in a lot of his Diamond League races so far. He could actually be on for his fifth Diamond League win if the Brazilian can finish it off in these last 150 metres. Happier with France is just stretching there. You can see him extending his stride, trying to maintain his stride pattern. Khalifa Rossa, the United States representative on the inside, is giving Alison de Santos, the new world champion, a run for his money. But here comes the Brazilian, Alison de Santos, stretching out over the final few barriers just himself the clock and the flamethrowers for company it is a new meeting record 47.8 for Alison dos santos brave running there for Khalifa rossa to try and stay on terms with the new world champion but he couldn't quite do it well he's just continued in poland hasn't he had a weary left off from eugene a meeting record in our first truck event of the afternoon here in celestia what a way to start a little stutter just the faintest of stutters with about 200 to go, but didn't he finish well off the penultimate barrier? And as you said, rightly so, Rossa 
threatening to put him under some pressure coming into this penultimate barrier here. But Dos Santos, look how he approaches the final barrier and then off it, his flat speed coming through. And he said all the preparation for Eugene was running for his coach. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to perform for his coach. Now he's got the world title. He's running for himself and he's having some fun. Set. Well, certainly, uh, Watrin, second from left, has gone up pretty fast, but so has Dos Santos, and once those long legs get unwound and he really builds up his momentum, he steams down the back straight. Good aggressive running, too, from Rosser in lane four in the headband. Rosser's going well. Nice measured run from Dos Santos through the first half by the looks of things. Copello in the orange third from right has got a bit of running to do just yet in lane three. But I'll tell you what, Watrin in lane seven is having a fabulous run, although Dos Santos now is up and past him as they come round into the straight. And don't forget the man in lane four, Khalifa Rossa. We know he's in fabulous form. He won Lausanne last Friday and set a personal best. And look at lane two, CJ Allen, Dos Santos unbeaten this year. Strong off the last barrier and he takes this one as well by a couple of metres. Narrowly there, the second place coming to Rossa from CJ Allen. The Americans take second and third. The time 47.54. That is three tantalising hundreds of a second outside Andre Phillips's meeting record set back in 1986, would you believe? 47.54. He's just missed that meeting record. Another fabulous one from Dos Santos. Although little bit of fatigue just showing there perhaps maybe down the home straight he was very strong off the final barrier there's no doubt about that and, uh, eventually maybe he just caught a glimpse of Rossa and Allen to his left out of the corner of his eye good run from Allen look personal best that's his uh, first time under 48 seconds worth another look wasn't it Dos Santos coming under pressure as you say from from the inform Rossa but Dos Santos has got confidence oozing through his veins he said up to the World Championships in Eugene, he was running for his coach, but since then, running with more freedom and running for himself, and there he enjoyed that. He's won every Diamond League meeting he's contested this year, just outside the meeting record, and he's taken full advantage, Tim, hasn't he, of the absence, the enforced absence of Karsten Varholm, really. He was under his shadow in the Olympics last year, and it's just got better and better. It's as if the man in the room has gone and he's able to express himself much more freely this season and you can only beat the opposition in front of you and he's done exactly that again and again and again in 2022. Do you know I get the feeling if he dipped at the line there he might have got that meeting record after a national record the reward for Watrin that very aggressive running of the first 300 a Belgian record in fifth place personal best for Allen but another win chalked up for Dos Santos.